Assalamu alaikum, my dear student, how are you? I am going to start a new class today, and uh, which is from English for today, of class 19. <clears throat> it is my first class of uh, English first paper of class 19. Uh, so, uh, let's start my new class, okay? Uh, first of all, welcome all of you, uh, of my dear students. And here is my introduction. Okay. What do you see in the picture? Uh, guess what is it? I think it's a Tara Masjid of Dhaka. Okay. And there is another picture here. Uh, what do you know? Do you know what is it? What is the picture refers to? Yes, everybody knows it. I think it is the Taj Mahal of India and it is the, uh, one of the most uh, beautiful uh, architectural building of the world. Okay, what is it? Uh, it is Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, which is the first uh, uh, center for uh, uh, prayer uh, for the Muslim. Okay, and uh, everybody knows it. It is our uh, national mosque, I think, uh, Baitul Makaram Mosque at Dhaka. Okay, what is it? Can you tell me? Oh uh, yes, it is the Shat Gumuz Mosque of uh, Khan Jahanali uh, in Khulna. Okay. So, uh, today our topic is the Shad Gumuz Mosque, World Heritage. It is World Heritage of our uh, uh, country. It is uh, uh, our proud. Okay. So, today our lesson is the Shad Gumuz Mosque, the World Heritage Site. Okay. The learning outcomes from uh, uh, today's class. Okay. First of all, uh, by the end of the lesson, the students will be able to uh, gather some new words and explain the Shah Gumbul's Mosque, answer some questions uh, about Khan Jahan Ali, uh, who is the founder of the uh, mosque, and explain what heritage is. Okay? So, first of all, uh, we will know some new words. Okay, uh, do you know uh, what is the meaning of the word monument? What is the meaning of monument? Can you guess uh, after watching the picture of the monument? Yes, it is a structure built for memorial. Okay, the monument is a structure built for memorial. And another word is architecture. What is the meaning of architecture? Can you tell me? Uh, this is the picture of architecture. And <clears throat> architecture means the art and science of designing buildings. Okay. Architecture means the science and art of designing any uh, building or any structure. Okay. What is the meaning of heritage, uh, which is very relevant to our uh, topics today? Uh, what is the meaning of heritage? This is the picture of heritage. I think you can tell me the answer, okay? Yes, it is the property. Uh, heritage means the property that may be inherited. Uh, can you tell me what is the meaning of inherited? Inherited means which is, uh, which is found uh, 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 in present and it is left for the past people of uh, our world. Okay, so heritage means property, any kind of uh, property which is, uh, uh, which may be the inherited. Okay, 
and then multi domed multi domed multi means uh, so many more than one okay so multi dome means more than one dome more than one dome okay multi means more than one uh, that's why uh, uh, ventilation what is the meaning of ventilation uh, in our house uh, every room has a ventilation and it is very important for uh, the year of, uh, to come or light okay uh, it is a ventilation okay and uh, the ventilation the meaning of uh, ventilation is uh, I think you can uh, uh, guess the meaning uh, system of uh, circulating fresh air okay so uh, ventilation means a system of circulating uh, air fresh air or light okay uh, the next uh, word is terracotta. What is the meaning of terracotta? You know, uh, it's a terracotta, the picture of terracotta. It's an art and design. Okay, related. A uh, hard red uh, brown earthen ware or brick. Terracotta is a one kind of brick which is designed or uh, 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 which is uh, uh, designed or uh, architectural uh, uh, categories of uh, design there and it, it, it may be in uh, uh, earthen ware okay so uh, we have learned the uh, important words of the chapter and uh, we will uh, see uh, another view of Shadgamu's mosque okay uh, 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 we know about uh, some information about Shad Gamos Mosque. Uh, you know, here is a four-sided domes in the middle row. In the picture, in the middle row, uh, you find uh, some uh, domes, and it is a four-sided domes. Okay, uh, in the middle row, and uh, it, 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 you can see. This, there were some uh, uh, doors in the mosque. I think it's an 11 uh, arched doorways. 11 arched doorways. Every door is arched. Okay, 11 arched doorways in front side of the mosque. Okay, uh, there are 11 uh, uh, doors. And in the another view of the picture, uh, you, uh, you can see the 77 round domes in the mosque there are 77 round domes uh, all of the domes are round except uh, some uh, domes in the middle row okay and in the uh, uh, four corner uh, there are four towers at four corners okay four there are four towers at four corners uh, this corner and that corner and in it may be the another side of the mosque there are four uh, uh, tower watch tower of the mosque okay uh, uh, can you uh, see the the side view of the mosque and uh, in the mosque there is a picture of a teacher here okay uh, it's the southern side of the mosque southern side of the mosque uh, uh, it, it is the southern side of the mosque okay and it is the another side of the mosque and it is north side and seven doors both of the sides there are seven doors there okay uh, in the north side and the south southern side both side uh, are there are the seven doors okay it is the inner view of the mosque okay uh, <clears throat> inner view of the mosque uh, you know the mosque it, uh, the inner view of the mosque is very nice and uh, there are so many uh, pillars of the mosque which is uh, supported the uh, 77 round domes okay uh, I think uh, it is it is the easels easels okay the easels uh, it, it, it is called the road uh, or the space 
uh, along the uh, along the um, along the towers, along the pillars. Uh, uh, this is the aisles, and uh, I think uh, there are so many pillars here. And how many pillars? Can you tell me? There are 60 pillars that support the mosque. Okay, that support the ropes especially, and that's why the mosque is called the Shat Gamos Mosque. Actually, there are so many uh, uh, domes, more than uh, 60 domes, but uh, uh, in, uh, due to the uh, pillar of the mosque, there are uh, 60 pillars. Uh, in, according, uh, in, in according to the pillars, uh, the number of the pillar, uh, it is called 60 uh, domes mosque or Shatgambos mosque. Okay, uh, here 77 round domes. In the roof uh, of the uh, Shatgambos mosque, there are 77 round domes. Okay. And uh, uh, arches, every door or every um, uh, every dome's arches is uh, like that. I think the six feet uh, arches, six feet uh, thickness of arches uh, of every uh, uh, every round domes. Okay. Heresy, and it is a matter of. Can you tell me how many mehrab in this mosque? Yes, yes, it is 11 mehrabs. That mosque, that mosque has 11 mihrabs. Okay. Uh, it is uh, an architectural uh, uh, terracotta. Okay. The mihrabs are decorated with terracotta. Uh, every mehrab, there are 11 mehrab, and every mehrab is decorated with uh, 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 designed terracotta. Okay. So what do you see in the picture? This is uh, another view of the mosque, and uh, the information about the mosque is here. The mosque was uh, founded by the Turkish general uh, Saint uh, Warrior Ulub Khan Jahan. I know uh, Ulub Khan Jahan was the uh, uh, was a Turkish general and he came uh, from Turkey to uh, uh, India and Bangladesh and then uh, uh, he settled or he built uh, so many uh, things of which is very humanitarian and very uh, welfare trust of the uh, country uh, 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 among them the mosque, roads, dams, the ponds, etc. Uh, he was actually a saint and uh, a humanitarian uh, uh, a person uh, and uh, uh, the work, um, amount of work uh, uh, of which uh, he, had, uh, he had done is very helpful for the people on the time because uh, Khulna uh, is the uh, area and there was a, a very scarcity of uh, sweet water and he dug a huge amount of uh, pond to collect the or to find the uh, sweet water that's why he is famous and his work also is famous and set at the um, uh, place of world heritage site okay so uh, uh, there is the world heritage site of our country uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine uh, uh, places which is uh, uh, which is uh, placed in World Heritage Site of our country. Okay, uh, what do you what do you mean by uh, heritage? Can you tell me what is heritage? Is actually heritage is what we inherit from the past, uh, live with them in the present. The first people live with uh, uh, them, uh, uh, present people live with them, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, inherited uh, from the past. And then pass on to our children or future generation. So heritage is uh, that kind of inherit, uh, inherit from the past 
live with the live with them uh, in present and then pass on to our children or future generation we we will pass it uh, uh, for our uh, to our uh, future generation or our children okay so it is a world heritage site and there is a work and it is a group work uh, especially uh, uh, there is uh, no group because it is online class and uh, there is not any uh, student here everybody of you in your house uh, you will make a group and uh, do this kind of work okay so uh, what, what was the work uh, discuss about Khan uh, different social activities and write them in three sentences okay uh, you will discuss it uh, 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 to your uh, brother or sister or anybody uh, in, uh, in, in your home uh, you will discuss it uh, with them and you will write in your khata or in your notebook about the different social activities of Kanja Hanali uh, within three or five sentences okay so uh, uh, here are some uh, information which we have uh, learned from our uh, class today the evaluation of uh, today's class okay we will evaluate it uh, what you have learned from this class today uh, here is the uh, a word founded by can you tell me who is the founder of the uh, Shad Gambus Mosque I think everybody of uh, uh, everybody of you know it uh, uh, it is uh, founded by Khan Jahan Ali okay can you tell me when it was founded when it was what was the time of uh, founding the uh, mosque I think it is 15th uh, century in 15th century Khan Jahan Ali uh, founded it uh, for the uh, people to pay uh, them there okay it is uh, another number of uh, dooms the number of dooms can you tell me how many dooms are there in the mosque okay it is 77 dooms in the mosque okay uh, and uh, 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 we call it Shadgamu's mosque uh, in accordance with the number of the uh, pillar uh, because there are 60 pillars in the mosque okay so number of pillars uh, you know it the, there are 60 pillars in the mosque and arches how many feet are arches in the uh, in every domes can you tell me uh, yes it is six uh, feet arches six feet arches here okay six feet arches and mihrabs how many mihrabs are there in the mosque there are 11 mihrabs in the mosque okay so you have gathered the information i think and uh, uh, we, we are in the uh, last stage of our class so i think uh, you have learned so many informations about Khan Jahan Ali and uh, his activities uh, which is very much a humanitarian uh, for that time because on that time uh, people were in very difficulties of uh, 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 green here and there because there was not uh, enough uh, roads enough well roads and especially on that time on that place there was uh, no uh, sweet water uh, because uh, it, it is by the side of the Bay of Bengal and there was uh, uh, saline or salty water in every ponds and rivers that's why Khan Jahan Ali uh, thought that uh, uh, I will dug a, a deeper uh, pond uh, and he engaged the people of that area uh, to dug the huge uh, uh, huge uh, pond and so many ponds uh, on that uh, places and on the, uh, from that uh, pond there uh, uh, came out sweet water and uh, the people of that uh, place 
uh, 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 drank uh, sweet water and it was only uh, only sources of sweet water on that time uh, so uh, he uh, did a lot of work a lot of activities for the people on that time uh, that's why he is called a humanitarian and he is uh, uh, stated his place uh, in the world heritage by by his uh, work of uh, uh, activities so uh, there are homework uh, today uh, 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 here are uh, here is a homework write a paragraph on shark gumbo's mosque within 100 words uh, you will have to write a paragraph uh, uh, within 100 word and uh, you will uh, you will write it about the Shah Gambo's mosque. What is the mosque and how many pillars, how many domes, and uh, in in front of the mosque, uh, how many doors and how many windows or ventilation, uh, and uh, mm, towers, how many towers, etc. Uh, which information we have learned from the class, and you will. Uh, note it and you will write it in your uh, uh, in your paragraph. Okay, so uh, this is my first first paper class uh, for English for today. Um, I will uh, take it uh, later. Uh, uh, I I want to finish first the grammatical class, and in my next class I will definitely uh, I will definitely take a grammar class, which is. Uh, a transformation of sentence which is uh, it is on wing and uh, I'm uh, I will take it uh, to in tomorrow's class okay till then Allah Hafiz and uh, I think you will uh, uh, is safe in your home and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah